Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Paulinho card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, high, high work rates, right footed, four star skills with a five star weak foot. Now, yes, you guys can see that I did get a first owner version of this card. I actually ended up getting him in the 86 plus double upgrade pack. So I was like, you know what? Might as well review the card. Uh, in regards to his in-game player traits, he has the finesse shot traits and the power free kick traits. So finesse shot trait is definitely very nice to have because of his base card stats for shooting being the way that it is in the midfield position. Uh, 83 for acceleration, 80 sprints. We will be perfect to set up with the shadow chemistry style to boost his pace as much as possible as well as his defense because i do mostly see this car playing in the center mid or cdm position so if you take a look and see here with the shadow chemistry style 93 acceleration 90 sprint speed with all of these defensive stats while working with very good shooting very good passing dribbling and physical stats so definitely makes a lot of sense for this card base card stats for shooting is at an 89 89 88 88 uh 80 for volleys and 90 composure so you know with a card like this who has the high high work rates and the five star weak foot it's definitely very nice to have all of those things together base card stats for passing is obviously very good on the card you don't necessarily need to improve that base dribbling stats very good as well all in the 90s except for the agility and with 90 composure very good because in the midfield position playing in that cdm area or cinnamon area this card has a lot of potential he's a high high work rate player with an average body type that has 98 stamina which is pretty ridiculous right Base card stats for defending, very good as well. When we give him the shadow, it's going to be improved drastically. And then last but not least, for physical stats, we're working with an average body type, six foot tall, with 88 strength, 87 for aggression, with 98 stamina, and 98 for jumping. So this card looks absolutely incredible. The only hard thing about this card right now is obviously the links, because the only things you could do with him right now is just the Brazilian players, which... Isn't that crazy, right? But obviously, you have to kind of work with some Chinese Super League players if you really want to put him into your team, right? But still a really cool card regardless. We put a team together. Don't worry about the players in certain positions and stuff. We're just going to be doing the review. So um, for Paulinho, we are going to be trying him out in a 4-4-2. So let me just go ahead and remove these two bad boys over here. We're going to be playing him in a 4-4-2 uh, because it just makes the most sense to test him out in that uh we actually have a 4321 actually i don't even know where this one came from long ball drop back this might have been like spencer's tactics actually i could be wrong I it could be his though you know what we'll actually do this because with this i can actually change some things here and there because right now i could just do this i could switch uh bruno over here philippe over here and then have paulino playing in that left center mid position that's actually kind of perfect I don't even know where this tactic came from. Let me put this on normal. Balanced, 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 boom. And then we're going to have it like this. And then the instructions is just going to be on the... It's just going to be on the center mid person. The center center mid person. Well, it's just center mid. It's on left center mid, right center mid. Um, yeah, balance. The rest of it will keep as balance as well. And we'll just play it like that. We'll put false nine on deco as well. Okay, cool. Ultra defensive tactics. Let's see how he plays. This card is about to be an absolute monster. I'm going to try him out on basic first, because I just want to see if I really want to give him that pace and, sh and uh, defending, which, to be fair, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the case. Yes, Paulinho. I mean, that interception, BB. Oh, dude, I don't even have the shadow on this card. <laughs> His defensive awareness there was actually good. So, like, you know how when you have your two center mids on cover wing only? He was actually uh, smart enough to block that fullback area when nobody was there. Five-star weak foot to make that pass right there. Nicely done. We're going to do a first-time pass here. Use the space here. Oh. Working with some base dribbling stuff there. Pass through the middle. Gonna make him do that run there because his space is kind of open. Pretty sure he's offside there, but that shot comes off really nicely on his card. Nice. Good animation to block that passing lane. Thing is, guys, that I don't even have a shadow chemistry style on him, but he's definitely still moving across the pitch nicely. Like, this is a really dope card, to be fair. Oh, 
Nice, good interception there too. You know what's really cool about Paulinho's card, guys, is that like he was one of the baby meta cards in the beginning of the year. Um, if you lined up with like Talishka and all those guys for your beginner squad. So obviously the cards like this, when they get improved, it's definitely very nice because they actually tend to be like really good cards most of the times. Oh, five star weak foot pass there to lay off the ball. Oh, his positioning was good though. In the uh, 18 yard box. Let's see if I can open up the space here for him. Oh, nice try. Should put more power behind that. I actually had the space to work with. I could have gone on the inside there. Just testing out his dribbling a little bit right there. First time strike. First time strike again. Oh. <laughs> okay, so base characteristics wise. Uh, with dribbling, you do notice the dribbling not being like the craziest, right? And it's pretty obvious because of the fact that he does have uh, an average body type with the dribbling stats that he does have, right? So it could be a situation with this card where you could potentially give him uh, some sort of dribbling boost. Uh, do I think it would be a complete waste for this card? Yes, I do think that the Shadow Chemistry style still makes the most sense because if you give this card an engine chemistry style, right? It still looks pretty cool with the 88 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, and then you give him the dribbling boost as well as the passing boost while you already have good base uh, defending and physical. But again, with pace being so important this year, boosting his acceleration sprint speed by a plus 10, plus 10, and then his defending stats by, you know, as much as it actually gives him is definitely more important in my opinion. He's definitely give me, giving me mostly CDM vibes, but because he's a high, high work rate player, he actually can play left center mid well. So, okay, guys. So for this next game, we're going to go ahead and play him in a 4-4-2. So we're just going to play 5-5, five 5-5. And five, five and five. Instructions will only be uh, stay back while attacking cover center for that center mid. Cover center, fullbacks on stay back, and then the rest of the team will just play as it is. Cool. Yeah, so let's try him out on this. Uh, I'm actually, like, super curious about this because he actually looks like he'd be pretty cool um, playing in the center mid area on balance instructions. So this time we actually did give him the shadow chemistry style as well, so... That way we can actually test out his pace. Because the acceleration actually helps out with dribbling in certain situations too, so. Yeah, that's the thing. If I just shield and hold that area nicely, I just, uh, I can just get the ball just from pressure, you know? Oh, that was actually a good volley with him. Not bad. Oh, look at that for a challenge. Near post strike. Oh, it didn't generate the power behind it. Paulinho's definitely giving me, like, really good CDM vibes, you know? Like, if he's one of your center defensive mids, with that five-star weak foot and a high, high work rate, I feel like he'll play that position like an absolute monster if you were to line him up in a squad, for sure. Even in the 4-4-2, he's not bad as your stay back while attacking player, because sometimes he'll still offer you that attacking support with his high, high work rates, right? So... You see right there, he's actually on the edge, or just inside the 18-yard box to block out that opportunity. Good, good challenge there. I'm actually going to force a run out of him right here. Open up the space here on the side. Make that pass first time. He's a physical. Yeah, so you could tell that he's more of a CDM. Like, if you were to attack with him, like, he'll definitely do a decent job at it, right? But this card with a Shadow Chemistry style in the CDM area definitely looks like he'd be super ideal. See? Good challenges, man. It was the same thing with this gold card. Like, even his gold card, you would use him in the CDM position because he was so good there. There we go. Nice little interception again. Yeah, he definitely feels mostly like a CDM. 100%, guys. It was the same thing with his rare gold card. I wanted to try, like, a ball roll strike with his five-star weak foot to see how he would hit it. It's one of those cards that, like, if you were to play on balance instructions, like, he can hit it if given the opportunity to. But it's not necessarily, like, super ideal on the attack, you know? It's one of those ones for sure. Alright, guys. So, final verdict on this Paulinho card. He's really cool, man. Really, really cool. If you can get some links with this card and you want to play him in the CDM position. Like, even if you want to play a 4-1-2-1-2 and you want to play with a card like this with high, high work rates playing in that area. I'm telling you guys, he's going to be an absolute monster in that position. Because nowadays, like... 
it's for me personally, I definitely prefer to have the medium high, but the high high is not that bad nowadays to have in that area, especially with the cards that they release, right? Because Imagine a card like this at CDM, five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, has the pace, has the defense, he can shoot, he can pass, he can dribble. Like whenever he's given a certain opportunity to, you know, create some sort of chance for you on the counterattack or do a defensive play, this guy's going to be really good in your team. The only reason why I personally would not use him as a center mid, although you definitely can use him with his high, high work rates, good dribbling stats and uh, physical stats and 98 stamina. The biggest reason why I would use him as a CDM is because players like this I prefer to have players like Renato Sanchez or Bruno Fernandes playing in that center mid position that have those high, high work rates, but feel agile on and off the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes a really big difference for me in regards to how they utilize the empty space inside the 18-yard box and outside of it defensively when given um, the certain spaces to, right? So, like I said, you could definitely play this Paulinho card at center mid. Uh, maybe in like a 4 one 2 and 2 as like a left center mid because of that five star weak foot, he would definitely be a ton of fun to use, especially with the shadow chemistry style. Like I, I still think he'll be good there. I'm just saying what I would personally do if I were to get this card, right? Um, there might be times where I actually might use him as a center mid though, uh, depending on how my team is formatted, but it's definitely a really cool card, guys. Definitely really like it a lot. It's not on the level of like Awar or anything like that because Awar has a lean body type with good dribbling stats. So for me, it makes a huge difference on that card. Uh, but defensively, I do think that Paulinho is going to offer um, a better defensive presence than Awar will, right? So it just depends on what type of card you want to have in your team. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.